Mm. It's good. Don't start your fuckery, nigga. Relax. You don't go start, baby. Don't don't start. You don't go start, baby. <laughs> yo, I, yo, I don't like when we. Oh, I do want to talk about something. I'm a, I'm kind of. Let me tell you. You know what this weekend is, right? You know what this weekend is, right? <laughs> what is it? Four twenty, baby. We about to get fucking high, my nigga. Oh shit. Okay. She retreats with a little. What is? Is this late. like? Uh, what is this? Strawberry shortcake. That's one for okay. you and one for, for miscellaneous shorty. No. You can't eat one? All right. Okay. So, yeah, this, yeah I'll have fun That's with That's for this, you and um, this Elk. Weekend. The stallion? <laughs> yeah. So, you want to hit it off this? No. Hey, Why yo, not? Fire for you. Just a little hit. No, no. All right, fuck it. I'll keep it to myself. Keep it to yourself. All right, cool. Where's I seen something very funny for on social 20, media? 20, baby. What you saw on social media, nigga? Somebody... <laughs> <laughs> I was scrolling Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it. And somebody was like, every time I see you post, I be thinking you Saucy Santana. <laughs> Does Wes look like Saucy Santana? <laughs> Wayne Brady got it, but Saucy Santana? All right, I don't care that these cameras is here, bro. We can fight. <laughs> no, no, Saucy Santana be doing things to niggas. I'm good. Oh, yeah, he threatened to do that to academics. <laughs> I don't know why Erica did that, yo. Like me and Erica have been friends for so long. I don't agree with Erica Thank that you. you like saucy. Thank you. I, I don't. I don't that. think you know. That shit is not. That shit is not. You have, cool. a, you have a beard. That's right. the end of it, really. Okay. I, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Nah, so, yeah, um, I, yo, I don't appreciate that. Right. So, um, <coughs> what you call it today? Yeah. Now, right. And I don't know if this, like, like when you go to like restaurants and shit like mm-hmm. that, and you go into. The bathrooms where it's just like one single person could go in. Yeah, it's so like a private like bathroom. Behind, yeah, All right. So over the weekend, I went to a restaurant, and there was a girl in there before me. Mm. Right. So when she came out, she was in there for mad long or whatever case. So I'm thinking that when I go in there, I'm gonna smell something crazy or whatever case. Were you right? just trying to say all girls stink? No, but she was in there oh, for you a she minute. Was shitting it down. Yeah. Okay. I thought cool. she was shitting it down. Okay. All right. Cool. I understand. So when I go in there. There was no streak marks on the toilet, nothing <laughs> like that. But there was urine, like yellow urine, on the toilet seat. So is a nigga? No, I don't. I don't hope not. I don't how, think wait, so. How does a woman miss the toilet seat, bro? I was disgusted. Oh, I got it. If there wasn't a toilet protector, she did a levitation. She did, yeah, she did that. But I was disgusted by that because it's like one, she didn't clean up after herself, or whatever the case is. She's a hooker. And now I know that there's a line behind me, and. So I don't know if you do this. Or you get anxiety? I, no. So I pissed okay. or whatever, but then I cleaned the toilet up after her. Janitor. But I felt I felt the need to do that because I didn't want people that was behind me think to think did. that I did it. Fuck them, fuck them niggas. Do you do you clean up the like no. the toilet seat after? No. So that's a some no. that's a fault in me. You see, if it's not a fault. If there's a toilet seat and a urinal, I'll make it quick so it look like I use a urinal and I ain't do that. Okay, I guess. You see? That's how you yeah. get away with that. Because mm. that wasn't me. That was somebody else. And it also what pisses me off, right? So no when, I wash, when I wash my hands and it splats, because I'm short. So <laughs> when the water splashes up on me, it like gets on and my... And like you piss on yourself. Yeah. And it's just like... <sighs> such is life. Why? I, I always wonder, why does everybody get embarrassed to do it at number two in the bathroom? Like, we all don't shit. Like, everybody gets... I have this little... Oh my God, no, somebody don't come in here. Don't come in here, please. It's like, why do we all do that? You ever, you ever. All right, niggas. Like when you go on vacation, when you fly a bitch out, right? Whoa. And you go on vacation. Fly who out? You know what I'm talking about. All right, all right. And y'all share a hotel room together oh. for the first time, right? Obviously, you have to move your bowels. Like, wh- like what antics are you doing to try to not let her know that you're moving your bowels? I, I ain't gonna lie. Like, these are things that I worry I'm about when I'm tr- in Cancun. I'm not done. Pff, you nigga just be giving this shit away. One time, I say, yo, I'm going to run down to the desk real quick. And I went and used the bathroom. That was- <laughs> what? Because <laughs> you didn't want to shit with Shorty in the room? Nope. That's crazy. And then I wait to use the bathroom when we're going to get food because I won't be in the room. So you won't know, like, mm-hmm. you know, somewhere else. Okay, so, I'm going to use that tactic next time. Come on, man. Got to be smarter than these hoes. We niggas, man. It's hard for us out here. We got egos, man. Mm. Shit. It's tough. Okay. Okay. Girls get away with everything. Mm. Niggas can't even shit on purpose. 
<laughs> right. Like, you a bitch, you sat down, nigga. You sat, stand up when you shit. Like, come on. It's not even fair. So, exactly. now, yeah, y'all can't fart in front of us. That's like, disgusting. That's not even lady like. What, what you look like being my bitch farting around me? Nasty. Yeah. If you, if you really, oh, you get married, don't want your wife. Marriage. Married to the game. Yeah. That is crazy. Married to the game. Yep. Imagine, imagine <laughs> me laid up with a woman and she's farting, and this is supposed to be the love of my life. <sighs> Come on. No, too, too, too no. So I will. All right. Speaking about marriage, fart, and let's say fart is a love language. Fart is not a love language. We're not going there. It's a comfort zone. You ever use a bathroom with a girl in the bathroom? Like piss? Yeah. No, the other one. Shit? <laughs> no, nigga. Okay. You ever been in the bathroom while she's on the toilet? Pissing? pissing? Yes. Okay. Not pissing? Not shit. Yeah, I don't I, think I, she was shit. We say wait. Yo, I, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to say this right now. Women, please. At least the ones that come to my house. I don't know if the rest of the niggas can agree with this. Stop running the water on the sink when you're doing a number two because you don't want me to hear your splash, splash, splash when the shit hit the toilet. They do that, mm-hmm. y'all's. Yeah, and see, they, and then like, they why spray, y'all do that? And then they, <laughs> and then they spray the, they spray the Febreze and all the other bullshit. Nah, you know what they be doing? They be leaving the window open in the studio, like yeah, yeah. Now it's cold. It's forty degrees outside. What are you doing? Mm-hmm. Like well, I, I didn't leave this open. You left it open, and now I, you move the spray. The spray's empty now. I know you shut it down. Yeah, and then the spray <laughs> mix in with the shit, and it smells even worse now. Yeah, it's like it's like bo and and. And perfume mix. Like, it's like, what's going mm-hmm. on? Like, please, just leave the sink alone. You use the bathroom. I respect you for not, you know, shitting down in my bed or some shit. It's cool. Mm-hmm. I, pre- I prefer that. But where I was going is, when is the appropriate time? And are you the first person to say, I love you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. More than <laughs> likely, I yeah, because, you know, I'm a lover boy. Oh. No, so I get smitten. Ladies. I get smitten very easily. Smitten. Aw, once she, man. once she fling it over for me, <laughs> pussy I'm in, feelings. I'm in love. Pussy feelings and carry. I probably won't say initially, "I love you." All right, so how do you even? How do you know you love her, and how do you announce it? I would probably, I would probably play around with it, and then I'll say, "Play around with the pussy," or I, 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 yeah, I would definitely play around with the pussy. Yes, <laughs> but I would also say something along the lines of. Elephant shoes. Like elephant Grow shoes. Up. Grow up. What? Grow what? up. So if you say elephant shoes, like if you say if you just like pronounce it without sounding it out, it looks like you're saying, I love you. You're deceptive. Right? So that's like my play on play on it, and I would say that. I'm not gonna lie. And then eventually, somewhere along the line, if I <coughs> get a little more comfortable with you, then I'll probably say, I love you. But you you usually the first person. Yeah, I yeah. More than likely, I'm. And the, first the sex person. is what makes you convert to like I love you. No, no it's, I'm playing around with the sex. Okay. Yeah, it, it's a part of it. Yes, of course. Or whatever. I don't think I ever told a girl I love you without being. Ha- I ain't gonna lie. Sex I, I think if a girl tell me I love you first, I might be a little afraid. Now that I think I'm about it, every girl that told me more I love likely, you first, I'm probably more than likely, was afraid. More than likely, yes, I was probably <laughs> the one that announced my feelings first. But oh, it was in a playful adults. manner. It was in a playful manner, and I said, "Elephant shoes." Oh, I don't think. Um, I, I doubt I. What do you mean? Because there's a little. There, no, right, I don't so, why. It's uh, a little Ling. I don't know if you know me, but I'm immature. So that that's why I do that. That's my. <laughs> those are my tactics. Sorry if I'm not a uh, you know an adult. He's never gonna grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. <laughs> Save Toys R Us, y'all. Don't let go. I like KB Toys. But no, um, I feel for the most part a man should probably say love. He love you first, and I'm not really into the tactics. It's like, I kind of just act on it and show you that I fuck with you. And I might even say I fuck with you OD. I, I, well, I say the line like, I never liked a girl this much in a long time mm-hmm. or ever. And that's mm-hmm. kind of like the, the prelude to I fuck with you. I fuck with you OD. Then it's like, it probably like after the, might be a little bit after the sex. I did tell a girl I love her before the sex though. Yeah. I'm, what was she doing to you? I don't know. I did. But did I, she at least jerk you off or something? No. So why did you love her? I don't know. I'm amazed by this. Yo, this bitch <laughs> must have been like, I'm sorry to call your whoever this person is a bitch, but like, nah, she but, must be an amazing woman. You know, like, this was the first time that I felt like not playing the mental warfare, like, waiting and shit. I was like, 
I love you. Like, I love talking to you all the time. That's crazy. Maybe I changed. Are y'all still together? Did you get the pussy yet? Is what I'm asking. How do you feel about it after you got the box? You're a lover. The world? You never know. Next episode on Dragon Ball Oh, so we're not telling the truth this episode? No, I'm telling the truth. I'm just pleading the fifth. Oh, I'm gl- All right, so I'll stick with oh, that. God. Stick with that. Oh, you telling the truth this episode? I'm telling the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, no. we, we got him. Okay. All right, go ahead. <laughs> this is going to be a great show. Guaranteed. No, it's not. Wait till the next topic. We not going to address the streets. Oh. <laughs> Mo, you know we addressing the streets. We not addressing anything. We addressing the streets. We not addressing anything. Come on, man. Listen, Saucy Santana, relax. Alright, you got it, you got it. You got it. <laughs> I don't like that. You got it. Nah, alright, like, like keeping it a buck. How you got how you got spice for me, but like, you know. I, I love you. I love you. I love you like a brother. You're my brother, man. I I mean it. What's up? End of the day. Alright, so the love you thing. Hmm. Does do everybody that you said I love you to, did you end up in a relationship with? Yeah. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh no, nah, you different. I never, I never said I love you to somebody that I wasn't <laughs> in a relationship with. I would more or less say that to somebody that I'm not just saying it to Tom, Dick, and Harry. Pause. I'm not just not you saying and it. This Tom, Dick, and Harry shit gotta pack it up. I don't. Like right, I'm not saying it to uh, Suzanne, Rochelle, and uh, Karen. Okay, I like that a little bit better. Thank or you, whatever case is, but Pebbles. not yet. Somebody that I'm really like intimate with. Or all right, have so a wait, wait. So all right, I, was I ask you this: How many interracial relationships you had? I know Wiz doesn't like white women, so we'll leave that one out. I'm open to it. <laughs> since when? Ka- I'm since, calling Lex right now. Since Caitlin Clark. I'm open to she it. She like Rick Owens. Bro. <laughs> but we'll speak about her bag later. All right, we go. But so we'll speak about her bag. bag what? He's Wiz. He's interested in the bag. I'm always, I'm always interested in the bag. But yes, I, I was in an interracial relationship. But I, I, when you say interracial, interracial, sorry. Yeah. Matter of fact, before we even get that far, I wanna I wanna get, get give me the list of the races you done been with. Uh she was Ecuadorian and Puerto, and Puerto Rican. Ooh, spicy tamale. Um, and just like niggas. Niggers. <laughs> like like niggers as in like the ethnicity of the woman. Why? Hard E R. <laughs> like, niggers. Like not niggas. Niggerettes. Yeah, niggerettes. Okay. Yeah, niggerettes. Alright, I think Niggerette. and Nah, yeah, yeah, just, yeah, for the most part, yeah, that was just one. I would only been one. Damn, you couldn't just put, you couldn't label them African and... and All right, my black queens. My black queens. I had African, my black Nubian queens. African, Jamaican, Trini, white, Brazilian. You been with a white girl? No. Oh, shit, like I Yankee two. Stadium? Damn, wait, okay. Two white women? <laughs> all right, so, all right, the first one... The, go, yeah. You talking about like just hitting or yeah, it was in an actual like, I had like one an ongoing, but like an ongoing thing. All right, the first one. Oh, no, the first one I didn't hit. No, I didn't hit her. <laughs> I mean, I didn't hit it. It's smooth. Hit it? Hit. What did she identify no, as? No, no, not like that. Okay. I didn't have sex. I didn't have sexual relations with her. Okay. I have sex with one and it's not like she smelled, but it's just like, it just felt like no, I shouldn't be doing this. Okay. And I did it twice. <laughs> like, there's a sex smell. And I, I believe in a se- there's a sex smell that kind of tells you the compatibility. You sure that's not condom? That no, you smell? I use condoms. And no, I'm sorry. Condom, you sure it's not no, the condom yeah, there's, there's a difference. There's okay. a difference. Mm-hmm. And for the most part, I use kind of the same small list of condoms all the time. So it's not the condom. Mm. And I've never, I've never been with a girl that front stink so so my my experience with an interracial relationship right so the ecuadorian slash puerto rican chick that i was um, i had plenty of spanish girls that i was dealing with um my 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 experience was i wasn't accepted into the family or whatever right so (laughs) i wasn't accepted into the family oh no habla okay we had one i didn't speak spanish obviously and two I don't know if the because the father was always drunk anytime I was over there or whatever cases. And he didn't drink the Corona with him. He wasn't receptive to me. He, you didn't drink with him. He wouldn't let me drink with him. What, like, what do you mean? Bring like, the beer and was, he'll drink with you. It was a, like he looked like a redneck. Like he, it, it was oh, racism oozing out of his pores. Like I right, so one, most 
Spanish niggas probably know that black niggas fetish, fetishize their women, right? They know this without a fact because there's niggas that go down to their countries and we drill them out, <laughs> right? <laughs> but let me tell you, he knows a that. A black man's weakness is calling him poppy. Oh, Call me poppy. Baby. I love that. Oh, Ooh, man. Papito. You trying to get some money out of me? Poppy, mm. papito, mm. Ooh, negro. Excellent. Extort me, baby, please. But anyway, yes. Um, Sean, take that out. Don't extort me. <laughs> no, leave it. <laughs> but um, I think he, I think he realized that I was probably fetishizing over his daughter. So he's like, no. He was just like he wasn't with it. The mother was a little warm up, yeah, warmed up to me. Just love us. Oh yeah, exactly. Oh, but the niggas, they know what it is already. They know that, like, for the most part, <clears throat> we probably. Ain't gonna be around for a while. All right, so I, I'm gonna ask, first. I'm gonna say something. I do love Spanish women. I got a thing for a Spanish girl right now. Hey, baby, how you doing? Hi. But but um, the, but sorry to cut you off. But that's to say, like they didn't make it warming or like a warm but why embrace would they? for me. But they why didn't make would they? it. But th- that also <laughs> caused me not to stay in a relationship. You gotta. You gotta. They, that's just the first step. You gotta get to those trials and tribulations first, bro. I'm not staying somewhere where I don't feel I'm welcomed. I mean. A lot of your relationships, you didn't like you was welcomed. <laughs> I'm sorry, Wiz. I'm sorry. I love you. I'm just. Like, I guarantee by the end of this episode, I will not be the only one crying. Oh, wow. Yeah, Yo, you ain't. Listen. Go ahead. I don't want no smoke, please. Go ahead. But, okay. So, I feel like there's nothing wrong with fantasizing over a race or a woman like that. It's just how you treat them. The after effect. How does it go after? Is it just simple hit and runs or is it actually building and having families? That's one thing. And it makes me wonder since black men fantasize over Spanish women, who fantasizes over black women? White men. Who fantasizes? White men. Who do you think? White men. That's what I think. If you have to pick a race that fantasizes over black women, who is it? Oh yeah, probably. But the thing is, like, White men don't travel to fuck black women. You as sure? far as I know. Yeah, as far as I know. Where all, are they going? All our female friends that go away and don't post a nigga. Rich, white. No, nigga. but I'm just saying, like, just hypothetically. Russell Simmons' daughter. Hypothetically. No, but what I'm saying is, like, niggas fly down to Latin America to fuck those I think women. white niggas might go to Jamaica and try a thing. White bitches fly to Jamaica to get fucked by Jamaican niggas. White niggas, where did white niggas flying to? You know to? that by facts. Yeah, I know that by facts. Oh, yeah. Shit. Okay, forget it. Yeah, I know that. Okay, go ahead. Because I know some of the Jamaican niggas that's fucking these white bitches. What's the club? You, we seen it on the resort. We. What are you talking about? We. We seen it on the resort. Do not indict me in none of this. Anyway, you want to play dumb. But, of course. Um, yes. Very dumb. So that's why I don't, I don't think... <clears throat> I mean, yeah, you, you do have a point. Yes, like here, we witness it here as far as them fetishizing, you know, yeah. uh, black women, but there's nowhere to fly to to do that Africa? type of thing. Well, I mean, I don't know. I've never been to Africa, so I, don't, I can't attest to that. Brazil? I don't know, man. I mean, why? Because it's just so scary, right? Uh, yeah, I would imagine I for mean, them. Hey, love, is, love is a scary thing. Mm. Save That's me some fact. of that, Sam. That's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> But not yet. Uh, K- Caitlin Clark? Wait, before we get to Caitlin Clark. Yeah. I want to ask. So, when it comes to races, who you think is, what race is the one that you probably been with the most? And if you had a perfect world, what race would you want? If you could just get your pick of the litter. Um, my experience with Jamaican women are better <laughs> than it was with American women. Oh, I agree. Um, Why is that? Jamaican women have... Sense. <laughs> the, the, well, one, the cooking is clearly different. Of course. These bitches don't cook. Two, also, the the hygiene is different. Or whatever. Like, me dealing with a Jamaican... This is my first time even seeing them... Uh, wa- they Like, they literally wash their panties in the shower. Like, I've... Yeah, back if you wash. Nah, yeah. Yankee bitches ain't... American <laughs> bitches ain't doing that. Oh my oh. God, the, the the washer and dryer is broken in my building. What am I gonna do? Yeah, so it's it's. <laughs> yeah, I'm of course I'm you know I'm half American, half you know Trini and shit like that. I have 
I'm exposed to both cultures, but me growing up in a predominantly West Indian household or in area, yeah, my, majority of my your, friends, your body. and shit like that, I watch your body. I I predominantly would deal with um, a West Indian woman as opposed to well, I feel anything like, else that I do. Right, so you say West Indian woman has your number, has the most your know, frequency, but if you had to pick one, who yeah. would it, what would it be? Besides West Indian woman then, besides them. Uh, Puerto Rican. Why? Because I had good experiences with Puerto Rican women. Because they they're also <laughs> in the Caribbean. Good that's a, that's an, that's another good thing. Answer. They they think their culture is damn near the same shit. The only difference is, like alongside the slave trade, they just got off on wow. a different island. Wow, that's all. That's wow. the only. Di- we wow. all come from the same place. Okay, Africa. or whatever the case is, but you know Africa. they they stopped off at a different island and shit. So I would say, of course, frequency, like you know, quantity. Jamaican women got it by a landslide. If I had to pick outside of that, I don't care. If you speak Spanish, come, baby. The just thing come. I love it. I fucking love it. What about Middle Eastern women? You ever came across a Middle Eastern woman? <laughs> Not necessarily. I want to know what they got under those hijabs, bro. Like, they got to be fire. These Muslim niggas are hiding them for a reason. They just... I don't think this has nothing to do with no religion shit, bro. They trying to keep... They trying to keep their women to themselves. You see how, like, we basically let our women parade themselves on social media and shit like that? They are protecting their brand and their women by making them wear that shit. That's why... I want to you know, know what? what's under there. I'm about to get into the marriage rates, but I'm going to just leave it alone. I don't know. I mean, I'd be kind of, I ain't going to lie, I'd be kind of afraid to remove, to remove that and hit it. Nah, I'd they probably kinda, fire, bro. They said the bodies be crazy underneath there. Yeah, yeah. That's why they be baggy, too. Exactly. There should be big, big sheets, big black sheets. Or whatever that shit. I'm, I, yo, I'm getting horny just thinking about it. Wiz, I don't even know what they look like. Wiz, relax. relax. Nigga, I'm about to eat some halal food right now, I my nigga. I you about to say you about to eat something else. I'm about to say, Wiz. Oh, you ain't that fun, daddy. No, I'm about to, no. Uh, about, about to get some chicken over rice. Hello, guys. You know that. That sounds like you speaking in code. No. <laughs> no, no, I'm not now, What is your code. obsession with Caitlyn Clark? Uh, she, she, she's getting money now. Oh, so she's signing for the big three? No, she turned it down, apparently. So what kind of money is she getting? Where's this? Here it is. Oh, I've been waiting for this. Go ahead. What kind of money is she getting? <sighs> well... All right, so you talking about her NBA, her WNBA contract, Watch right? Watch your mouth about NBA, WNBA. But she's gonna get she's gonna get more money from the endorsements. Her, her all right, so oh, her, her oh. first contract, she's making seventy six k, her first initial year. Her four, her four years, she's getting <laughs> what? You laughing at seventy six k? God damn! Let me ask you something. What? You know how much James Harden had to pay in fines for calling Daryl Morey a liar, a honey k. His mm-hmm. fine mm-hmm. was her paycheck. That I mean, shit. But Wiz, lots to put your business out there. You make more than seventy six k. And this is why I'm constantly being extorted. <laughs> Thank you. That ain't money to you. That's a that's a bad year for you. Come on, man. I'm just don't do that. Don't do that. Keep, keep it in a stack. <laughs> <laughs> keep it in a stack. Let me let me tell you something. I'm broke, baby. Let me tell you. I ain't got no money. Oh. Caitlyn getting seventy six. Angel Reese getting seventy three. Wimby getting 1.8 mil mm-hmm. rookie contracts. Should have went to the big three. Then I see a bunch of people complaining because magically they see the the Lord and Savior, the white, the great white hope, Caitlin Clark finally get drafted. Oh, these women need to get paid more. When the last time you've been to a WNBA game? You have, you ever been to a WNBA? Yes, I have. Okay. Do I remember the team the Liberty played? No. Do I remember the score? No. Did they win? Did they lose? They lost. Both times? First time, I don't remember. Second time, mm-hmm. I know they lost. What, what did the crowd look like? I have no idea. It wasn't like fire bitches in it? I, I was in a suite. <laughs> and you want to talk about my salary, nigga? I didn't pay for that shit. I'm a celebrity. Who paid? I'm a celebrity. <laughs> Check you out, Iron Man. Shit. Anyway, um, so when so like the WNBA has 40 games in a season 40 yeah only including 40. playoffs and they they just changed it this past season to 40 but um that I, obviously how many teams is in the- <laughs> 12 12 teams <laughs> so where the money coming from 
<laughs> exactly. Yo, let me tell y'all, ladies, in the real world, having a fat ass and looking good and getting engagement is to make you money. It's hard work and some real talent. That's what the NBA has. That's why Steph Curry can buy the WNBA. Sorry, not sorry. Don't think, oh, we play. We want as much as the men in WNBA in the works. So. On Instagram, go ahead and live that. Everywhere else, it don't work like that. I'm sorry. You don't feel like they should nope. <clears throat> make the bench, the niggas that's on the bench pay for the WNBA salary? Wait, what? The Excuse niggas me? on the bench, like the 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th. Excuse nigga. me? I beg your pardon? Come on, bro. Women empowerment, bro. I could, I could save the WNBA. How? It's real easy. <laughs> what, make them uh, dribble the ball in thongs? No, no. You spitting. You spitting, but no. What? It's real easy. Go ahead. All right, let's see. Hmm. All right. All right, who's that nigga? There's a, there's a nigga in college that uh, got a contract to paint his, his fingernails. Yeah. That nigga from Duke? You know what he do? His senior year, last game of the year, comes out and says, yo, I'm not declaring myself for the, the NBA draft. I'm declaring myself for the WNBA draft. I identify as a she. So have niggas in the WNBA. That's what I was going to say. And that's it. It's over. Rainbow community's there. They supportive as fuck, I think. They run everything, right? Have a nigga there. He start doing windmills. It's mm -hmm. up. Mm. <laughs> start doing windmills. He start doing windmills. <laughs> nah, I don't think that's going to work. You ever seen a girl dunk? Yeah. Uh, How did you, what did you feel about it? What's her name? The one that got locked up in Russia. Brittany is not a girl. Brittany Griner. It's not a woman. Oh, she having, she having a kid. She having a kid. <laughs> She's bought one? They they did some like procedure or whatever. Did they show her with a stomach? Artifi no, not her. It's the the spouse. The spouse. So she's not having a kid. She's still the nigga in the relationship. So like when you like Pebble said, you like niggas. No, but I so let's say let's say like let's say like when one of our niggas is having a kid, we don't be like oh so and so is having a kid. No, we say he's Ellie. <laughs> you guys are supposed to bring our shit. Back. I'm sorry. I'm just keeping it a buck. When a nigga's having a kid, it's like, damn. I ain't going to... All right, I'm going to keep it stacked with y'all. <laughs> I'm not going to go too far. <laughs> I'm going to try... I don't want to burn down the house. I'm going to... Nah, you know you already burned this. down the house, nigga. Nah, I'm going to stop. 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 Go ahead. I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't, fuck it. I ain't talking about the chat. I'm just talking about in general. Off rip, if one of my niggas write me and say... I'm having a kid. He's having a kid. I immediately approach with sympathy first. <laughs> You be like, sorry to hear that? I'm like, damn. Now nah, we want this. All right. <laughs> I immediately, I don't say, if you say, listen, imagine you L and got the wrong person pregnant. The Lord's and gift. Somebody, and somebody says, congratulations. That's a punch in the face. Wait, repeat that? If you got the wrong bitch pregnant <laughs> and someone says, congratulations, that's a punch in the face. All right. I'd rather wait to see where the energy's at. If I see you start promoting the baby shower, then I know we good. Promoting? Niggas are promoting the <laughs> baby I mean. shower? But like, nah, if, it's if a the Lord's guy, gift, bro. If the guy invites me to the baby shower, then I know he wanted the baby. Or maybe he just wants support and comfort. <laughs> nah. I mean, he's supporting it. That through means he a, wants through it. Through the tragic time. Niggas, niggas don't want that kid that is not showing up to no baby shower. Yeah, man. That's... Burberry shirts alone, for one. Please. Yo. Burberry mm -mm. dress. Burberry skirt. The niggas is hiding their kids too. That's crazy. <laughs> Say na wow. <laughs> Say names. No, they don't. Drake. Okay. Addy Don. Okay. All right. All right. So last last week episode, we spoke about the greatest diss tracks of all time. Yeah. We spoke about K Dot and Cole, but this week, mm -hmm. shit is fucking turnt. So, <clears throat> for those of you that haven't that been living under a rock. Drake supposedly clapped back. It's not supposed to. Well, there was an AI version and there was a real version. So he clapped back, dropping, giving me 50. What do you feel about Drake's response to Kendrick Lamar? It was good, but I feel like he got more in the tuck. I think it was just like a, <laughs> like he's throwing bait out. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's so, like poking the, he's like trying to poke the bear to see what Kendrick made of. I really, really like, like Drake's and Ross, et um, clap back yeah. a lot. Um, I think it's a deeper meaning of like, 
you know, him actually having some type of ownership in the industry. White boy! <laughs> and for the record, Wiz is um, taking a segment from the best diss track of all of these right now, and that's Rick Ross's. White boy! <laughs> Champagne moments, and Rick Ross clapped back at Drake, and he's the only one that's taking this beef very seriously. BBL Drizzy, white boy! Mm -hmm. And I, I, I'm going to tell you, Drake Jordan is fine. I know he has more to talk, but Rick Ross is a professional rapper. He just knows how to make music and he knows how to troll. Yeah, that's He's the really thing. good at it. That's the thing about trolling, yo. He said that one Drake is like you don't, you don't want to activate a nigga that has nothing to lose. He just don't want to That loves to troll. <clears throat> like 50 Cent, yeah. Hello? Are you out there? You don't want to activate somebody that likes to troll. Oh, shit. He Hello, are you out there? But no, go ahead. I don't like to troll. Leave me alone, please. Come on, so, troll, bro. No, thank you. Right. But um, he, he mentioned, what do you think about Drake supposedly having a BBL and Drake? <laughs> okay. And <laughs> Wait, I just thought about how that sounds. <laughs> yeah, it <worked. laughs> All right, Drake having a tummy tuck. I'm ecstatic tuck. about his BBL. Drake, like, what Drake do you mean? having a tummy tuck. And um, it was a nose job, bro. Well, I think the nose job was actually a troll on him saying he's Michael Jackson. I don't, I don't know, like his nose changed. I think he's just saying that like, you know he's just hitting at the whole you had surgery because he Ross said like yo wait a minute you was BBL Drake and now the shit fell off and you can't go back to the doctor so now all your outfits on tour is funny and if you look at all his outfits on tour they're very it's like moto moto shit like though costume. Right? Halloween crossover, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jerry Jeremy Scott type clothing is like what's yeah, going on? Yeah, look like borderline faha. Is is very weird. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and then he also it's said like that a waist trainer. He said he unfollowed him because he basically sent a cease and desist to French Montana. How you mm. feel about that? Well, as a fellow Bronx nigga, of course I don't like that. It's up for Drake. Yeah, that's yeah, that's whack. How you do that to French? I'm kind of rooting for him though. For Drake, yeah. Why? Because yeah. everybody against him. Yeah. I, I hate to see a group of people gang up on one person. Like, what Like what are y'all forming? Like, what the... Uh, <laughs> is it the <laughs> Avengers versus... Like, like what's going on here? Why are they picking on, on this one individual? And I hope Drake whipped the floor with these niggas. Of course, I'm a fan of uh, Future and Ross and Kendrick and everybody else, uh, Metro and shit. You know, make some fucking drums, nigga. But I'm a fan of these niggas. But at the same time, I am rooting for the... The underdog, right? Nah, I don't want to consider Drake the underdog in this yeah. situation. Or oh, whatever. Yeah, like he's Tony Starks at this point. Like, you see what I'm saying? I think he has the upper hand. He holds, the, he holds all the cards in his hand. Mm. From the outside looking in. I don't oh, know how you man. feel about that situation um, or whatever. I, but just let me know. Let me know what you I, think. Can I get one of those? Can you get one Please. of what? Yes, I got it. I got it. Thank you. I needed that. Oh, also, also another. I'm, I am a great catch. <laughs> also, another theory. Um, also, another theory that was going on was people saying that it's fake to boost the sales for the music industry. Well, Drake, it Drake has his own stimulus plan. I mean, for the most part, I feel like he just jumps on people's records and then just magically their life changes. Yeah, but also you've seen the decline in hip hop recent. Well, within the past maybe two, three years. Or whatever, and <clears throat> this for the most part, all the streams is going up, or whatever cases. Everybody's so called active and uh, getting into this beef. All the blog sites is picking it up and shit like that. This is mad traction for hip hop. We haven't seen nothing. Wait, like wait, this. but no, but the reason why is because everybody forgets that for the most part, we function in space with streaming and or um, being on blog and stuff for free or for a very low cost. It's not the same. Like I kind of we gotta stop this. Drake is not Michael Jackson. We went outside and went to Sam Goody and Moody's Records and all the other places yeah. to buy these albums for sixteen ninety nine. Imagine if social media was out when Jay and Nas was going at it. Six, don't do that. Sixteen ninety nine. Vibes Cartel and Movado. Stop. A million dollars, a million sales, a million copies of sixteen ninety nine instead of playing Drake's song a million times. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it's not equivalent. I don't like that. Do you think it's? You think this is real? Like this is like a real beef? Or they didn't do it to spark up the I music I believe industry. that everybody has their motive except Ross at this moment. I know Kendrick knew he wanted to attack. Drake knows that him getting more and more attention is better for him. 
That's why I called back out of it because he realized that he was gonna he was doing the same thing he's accusing Kendrick of, of getting attention through beef. So he was like, mm. wait a minute, let me stand on my morals. Take it out you want, fine. But he was like, let me get out of this. And Rick Ross is just done with all the shit because Rick Ross calls everybody's bluff. Mm-hmm. And that's just it. Because at this point, no matter what goes on next, it all ties back to Drake making money. Let's just say hypothetically, <clears throat> this is fake, right? And they're all colluding with each other, right? Wrestling. Yeah, it's scripted, right? Uh, Do you think that in the future that they would start making music again together? Do you think that the relationship could mend itself I'm and not get back lie, together? Because Meek and Drake made music each other after all of that. Mm-hmm. And I didn't think it was possible. All right, so think about it. You, you know who really beef with niggas? 50. Yeah. Because 50 ain't doing no music with Ja Rule. All right. And he ain't doing no music with Game. So I don't know if you ever beefed with somebody before, right? But let's just say bridges were burnt, right? And you were involved, right? Would you, are you willing to work, if business is, is good for everybody involved, would you mend fences? Would you like reconstruct the bridge? Would you like let these people back into your inner circle for you to, um, <coughs> you know, do good business with, with them? Like, like, of course. You would, you would, you oh, so yeah, yeah. My oh. heart is, my heart is big, but it beats slow. That is uh, interesting. That is very interesting. I have no malice to anyone, and I want no smoke or no problem. I commend you. I commend you. I commend you. And I hope that we all can get along, kumbaya. You are very, very mature. I, I like that. I like that. I'm hurting inside. Yeah. Because, uh, you know, like, they playing all these social media games. Okay, I'm, all I'm right. Talking, I'm, first <laughs> all right. of all, I'm talking, uh, about, I'm talking about Ross here. I'm talking about Ross. Okay. Ross and them are playing mm-hmm. these social media yeah, okay. games. On Twitter and Instagram, they're oh, posting things man. or whatever. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's crazy to me. Like, mm. you know, I'm just saying. You know. So, um, what do you feel about um that Kendrick Lamar AI response? Oh uh, well, if it's really AI. Yeah, yeah, it's AI. Um, one that I think, I think Drake kind of plays in the music industry is playing into it. So explain. they're adding. So like. Basically, come on, Kendrick, Kendrick Lamar oh, yeah. is not, uh, he's not participating. Okay. So they're basically trying to force <laughs> his participation by doing AI. So that's why I think that this is like some. So you and niggas got to stop using chat GPT then? No, nah, I'm never stopped using that okay, shit. Okay, well then here we are. I'm never stopped using that shit. Spotify just dropped a new deal where they're able to make deviants of audio books and sell it whenever they want. We're, 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 we're slowly being more assured that we are under attack. What do you What do you mean by that? You can. They're make, making audio books based on what? They changed the contract where if you upload an audio book to Spotify, you signed up for that intellectual property to be theirs, and they can make a derivative, make an edit to it, and sell it however they want. Mm. So yeah, we're under attack. That's crazy. It's very scary out here. Mm-hmm. Speaking of scary and Bronx niggas. Just to defend my my fellow um uptownian, Kai Sinet. Yeah. He got into a little pause. The guy in the little pickle. Um, Wiz knows about these kind of matters, so I just want to... <laughs> I don't nothing about Twitch. So supposedly I know nothing about Twitch. We're on Twitch right now. Supposedly Kai Sinet forked over a fairly large bag for some for some front. Would you mm-hmm. please like to enlighten our our guests about this, Wiz? Um, so I don't see, I don't think he did anything wrong. I don't see nothing wrong. I don't think he did anything wrong. He was helping out a with a little five k, five k, five. He's helping a small black business. <laughs> and she light skin. She's she's <laughs> a, a, ethnic. <laughs> ethnic is crazy. And we we like to help out our ethnic women, oh our Nubian God. queens. Go ahead, get it off or whatever. And um, apparently he paid her five k. For what? What did exactly he pay a 5K? And how do we know that she, he paid a 5K? She, well, she leaked the text messages. And she leaked the text messages. Um, and she showed the <laughs> she showed the Apple Pay 5K payment. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't see all of that. So she she leaked the Apple Pay and she yeah. also leaked him basically, in the bed? Basically, she... And she leaked his front too, right? His front? No, she just posted a picture of him sleeping. I don't know whose bed they was in or whatever case. It was but, his bed, though. No? Yeah. She exposed... Why did she do that? So the thing is, in, she's a scoundrel. <laughs> she well, one, she's looking for clout. 
if you post anything on social media to retaliate to somebody, I, me personally, I think <coughs> you're clout chasing. Like, like it's very clout chasey of this particular person for you to expose and put out these things out on social media, right? Um, she, one, that is very dangerous, her leaking his address, even though one of them was a hotel or whatever, who's to say, you know, what room he's in or whatever cases. But you leaked his hotel that he probably pro- so, predominantly I mean, stays I, at. I, I got to wonder, was the money not enough or was the buddy not enough? Because why would you do that? Why did she do that or why did he Why do she that? did that? We're going to get into his part in a little bit, but why did she do that? What did she win? What clout did she get? She gonna, you think she's going to get more clientele for well, leaking one, her, her well, sexual one, relations she's with definitely, God? She's de- interviews are definitely going to be thrown her way. But how much... That's attention. That's not money. We got to stop thinking that engagement equals money because no one's going to want to fuck you no more. Well, matter of fact, niggas is dumb. Well, it depends. It depends how... It depends. Yeah, it probably is a lie. Her pussy might stagger them. So you never know. Like, yo, <laughs> he may be like on some shit like, yo, that shit is fire, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? The elasticity Maybe... of her thing is going to die down like you said last Listen, time. listen. What I'm saying is he may <laughs> put in a good review on Shorty. Or whatever the case is, and this is how she's clout chasing. Maybe this is she's using these methods to gain clientele. Me personally, I wouldn't fuck with her if she's exposing niggas. So, but so all right, so one, I want to ask. Well, before I get to that, why did Kai do this? Why did he pay? Why did he pick her, and why did he pay? You don't think he get pussy for free? Yeah, anybody usually if you paid free. if you paid for it, I believe that she should keep quiet. So it's I it so defeated the purpose. One, I think he probably paid for the convenience because if you look at the times that they're talking, this is like six in the morning. Majority of people are sleeping. Wait, wait, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. We're not gonna do that because what? I know you. You got enough sauce, and I got enough sauce that I could call the right girl at six o'clock, and she is pulling up. So I don't want to hear that. Kai gotta have more sauce than that. I'm trying to make excuses for our black brother. That's a horrible excuse. He he did you did wrong, little nigga. You did wrong. I don't think he I don't think he did. Well, one, we don't even I know mean, how, he's he's a short man. We don't even know what type of money he's working with or whatever huh. the case is. Clearly he got it. Supposedly. Or whatever the case. I don't I don't think he did anything wrong. Like <laughs> niggas pay for pussy at the end of the day. Regardless if you agree with it or not, niggas so do. So let me it. ask you. Who you paying that 5k tag for? Give me give me five girls you pay 5k for. Nigga, it is regular. <coughs> yo. Uh, you you only like name people. You could name people. Name names. Uh, Chinese Kitty. Yo, we yo, went. All right, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, shout out to Connie Diamond at SOBs. Once Chinese Connie Kitty. Diamond. What? No, what? Go ahead, continue. <laughs> Chinese Kitty. <laughs> she's she's Guyanese. She's half Guyanese. You knew that, right? I thought she was Chinese. <laughs> No, she's she's half Guyanese. Oh my god, continue. We was at Connie's show. Yeah, I probably paid five k for that too. But um, oh my god, hey, I'm trying to think. Anybody else? Uh, 5K. Oh my god, this thing is horrible. Birthday girl, who's the birthday girl? It's your birthday, Bernice. No, no. I would, I would, I would pay. I would probably pay ten for for Bernice. Okay. Yeah, I like vintage box. Wow, watch it. Watch your fucking mouth. I like vintage box. Sis. Fire. Watch it. Fire. Watch your mouth. Watch you know what I'm saying? Be, be nice. Is there anybody that you deem worthy of a 5K? 5K. Be honest. Just you got it, bro. You just, got it. You got it. Money is not a thing. Just cause I know I want I don't want to leave this earth without trying it. Diana Ross? <laughs> No, Tina Turner. Now nah, I'm joking. Now nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. Ain't she dead? <laughs> Bro. Really it's crazy. Now nah, I'm joking. I'm, I mean, nigga, I, said, nigga said nigga about to lie. There's only one woman that could even second guess it, and that's Rihanna. Even after the two kids. That's the only one. That's it. Nah, I wouldn't do it while pregnant. I might. You want to hit while pregnant? I might. That's the that's some fire shit, bro. You ever you ever did that? I did it once. That was it. It was amazing. <laughs> was the kid born? Born to the baby and was the kid born yo, to I, term? I, 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 was the kid born I, to I, term? I, 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 guys, I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I'm gonna tell a story. Uh, uh, hopefully she's not watching this, but whatever. This real quick story. <laughs> did the kid have brain injuries? The, the kid is fine. Okay, it's a it's a girl. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. 
So I remember I was talking to this girl and we fell off really bad. And I went to her job to get something. And she seen me and she I didn't see her. And she was like, oh, I seen you. And I was like, oh, what's up? You fell off. She's like, yeah, life. Yeah, I'm going to tell you right now. Whenever a woman says life, she's pregnant. Okay? That's exactly what she means. Life. Or she's broke. True. True. You're, ve- you're right. Life. Life means baby or you're broke or both, which is scary. Or she's trying to get her degree. No, 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 no. That's stress. I don't okay. think that's life. Mm. So she says life. And I'm like, all right. She's like, I'm going to tell you something. But it honestly doesn't. I didn't know how to approach you on this, but it honestly doesn't mean anything to me. And I'm like, what? She's like, I'm pregnant. And I'm like, that doesn't mean anything to you? She's like, yeah, because I'm not with the nigga. So if you want to link, we can link. And I'm like. So me being a, at the time, guys, I was disgusted. I said, how pregnant are you? <laughs> Yo, what? This is sick. Like on a scale from one to nine months? Like that's what you mean? <laughs> one to nine months is crazy. <laughs> so she's like, one and a half. I was like, oh. That, that <laughs> ain't my little bit of straightness. <laughs> you can still play ball. Okay, I, I can still... <laughs> You're not on the injury reserve yet. You can still you, 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 you can still go to <laughs> two or three quarters. You don't need a doctor's note yet. <laughs> oh my you can, God. You still, you, hey, I mean, if she's still at work, then I can go to work, right? I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> she ain't fill out her FMLA paperwork? Got so it. So I'm like, all right, she, she ain't got her, her, her maternity leave yet, so I'm, I'm good. That is wild. So I did it, and then I'm like, all right, I ain't going to lie. We had like a little relationship. I'm like, all right, what month do I need to stop? She's like, you know, like around like six, <laughs> she said. So I'm like, all right, and I'm not going to lie, guys. Yeah, because the positions somewhat change after they I'm get past you, six when we, months. When we got to seven, but <laughs> yeah. I mean, so I ain't going to lie. The closer and closer it got to baby dropping, the better and better it got. And wetter, right? I use condom, so it's... Stop doing that, yo. You're, you're disgusting. <laughs> The bitch already pregnant, bro. I don't care. You can't get her re-pregnant while she pregnant. So, once you like six, six months. You think she going to double up? No, I don't want to baptize the baby. Forget it. <laughs> so, we got to like six and it was like, all right, so this is it, right? She's like, yeah. Then she ran it back. Then she ran it back again. And I'm like, damn, we about, we almost at like eight. And I'm like, yo, you can have the baby. No, she kind of had to stop. Then I'm going to tell you, this girl had the baby, right? Maybe like, oh my God, mm. God, I, this, I've changed. The stitches changed. ain't even here, right? I, I she took like mm. a, she took like a month off. Mm-hmm. She took like a month off mm. to get the stitches and the you know the straightening. She told me to pull up on her. I'm like, she came outside for the top, right? She came outside, right? And we went somewhere, and I'm like, who's watching the baby? You know, this is, Wait. no, you can't do that. <laughs> you know, you snitching right now. Nobody knows. You snitching, but you snitching just like how homeboy. Stop. She okay. pulled out the baby monitor. Yo, nah. <laughs> the baby monitor? That's how she was keeping tabs on her kid? <laughs> it was a quickie, but baby was asleep. Yo, bro. <laughs> so... The thing is, the thing is. <laughs> And kudos. Listen, I've changed. This is many moons ago. You got to appreciate the irresponsible mothers, bro. They're the best ones. Because you come wow, first. Fact, especially if you come first. Especially, Get it? You come first. Especially <laughs> if it's not your baby moms. Why would I have And a she's irresponsible acting irresponsible? Why would oh, I have a bit irresponsible You are the mother? MVP, baby. Yo, listen. I'm sorry, y'all. I've had my times. Don't judge me. I've changed, okay? I'm sorry. I've changed. I promise. Fire. <laughs> Listen, the karma, baby? karma has striked plenty of times. I've changed. You, you know what you should have did after you hit? You should have called the cops. Be like, Yo, this bitch, <laughs> this bitch wild. Yeah, Call yeah. the cops and say, yeah, yeah. Yeah. There's, a, there's, a, there's a baby in here there's by itself. There's a baby by itself. But then I would never hit again. I don't think I hit again after that. Exactly. Should get the bitch locked up. Started nigga. fucking with somebody I knew, so it was kind of tough. Get the social worker involved. What's the what's your worst worst like frolic in, of that nature? I, I had no worst frolic. Everything was good. No, like you know, spicy like that. Like, like 
you know, like the pregnant girl, like. Fucking wow! She just had the baby. Like you never had no dangerous. So I was majority of them was fucking while they had the kid, or <laughs> like well in them in them, like they was still How much pregnant. Months? Um, I don't know, but they, obviously we couldn't do certain positions or whatever. Yeah, the after is. after like, month, the stomach like was six in and a half, it, like six and a half, it was just bacas only. Yeah, the stomach like was in the way, there, and shit I, like that. I, I was actually very afraid at first. Yeah, cause I didn't want to. I didn't want to press down. Yeah, I was like on on the, on the like if she starts screaming, then I don't know if it's like is yeah. it me or is it. And I'm like the whole time, I'm like yo, this shit is so wrong, but it feels so right. <laughs> and he's going rare, and it's <laughs> he's getting everything. He's getting the full experience. Come on, son. But not yeah, I was getting the full experience. But um, oh, I got a question for you. When it you got done. weird. The only part that it got weird was was after they gave birth. And Why? Because she stopped seeing you. No, they oh. kept seeing me. But <laughs> it would just be like so. Sometimes they would like Facetime me with or, the, pit, with the yeah, pit. and it's just like like I remember you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one time, hey, Junior. One time, she sending me nudes. Oh, I'm gonna show it to you after the show. So she's sending me nudes. With the baby in the photo while she's naked. And I'm like, yo, this is so crazy. It's so wrong. She was naked with the baby in the back? Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's the was... type of eight shit mother you need. Yeah, yeah. That's why I said I All love right, so irresponsible mothers. I got a question. Because I feel like you, you probably have the opposite Riz. So I want to ask you. I feel like for me, for the most part, a girl rizzes me up to get me to take off the condom. How do you go about getting a girl to agree for you to go in it, Kojak? What's or they Kojak always mean? raw. They always just want you to go raw all the time. I don't. I don't want to <laughs> talk about this. But um, <laughs> let's just say hypothetically, what happens is <laughs> you said I'm living here with son. <laughs> Wes, no, you can't do that. What you mean? You just, you just don't come with a condom. Yeah, <laughs> not Wes. So you never been in a corner crossroads where the girl's I'm not like pump faking. Like you come in there and the girl's like, "Yo, we where do, you, did you go in? We doing this or we not doing this? <laughs> like, what, what do you mean? Like, no, Wiz, you can't do that. I ask. I do ask though. I do ask. Do you want me to wear one? And then more than likely they'll say no. And if they say yes, you just keep going, right? No, <laughs> I just be like, yo, I don't got one. And then they be like, oh, okay. So it's a hundred percent conversion. Yes, I ask. <laughs> I ask. I ask for their consent first. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let, 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 let's pay the sponsors. Go ahead. Put the disclaimer right here. <laughs> I asked for their consent first. Yes. And then I still put it in. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then we get tested. Then we get tested. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> a, a permit test? Because <laughs> we ain't talking about that test, nigga. I forgot it. Yet. Oh, speaking of that, I'm going to go it back. On, we do it online. I, 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 <laughs> STD test online is crazy. <laughs> Oh, I get like, it from Dollar Tree. That's not like a CNA test because you talk about something else. But <laughs> girls be risking me up. I do so. I, I have a girl and then she'd be like, I want to feel you. <laughs> like, no. Yeah, and I'm trying to feel you. <laughs> like, I'm trying to, I want to feel you. No, I, I want the whole thing. And I'm like, no. <laughs> a couple of girls and got a handful of girls and risked me up and, you know, <laughs> what they say, take that shit off, and nigga. I take it off. Take the like, glove off, nigga. I start crying my tears like, <laughs> I'm not ready to be a daddy. <laughs> my pull-out game used to be great. But now, I, I don't know, man. Mm-hmm. I, oh, forgot to mention this. Ling, please just disregard this whole conversation I'm about to get into right now. But you can chime in if you want to. But I seen some shit on the internet. What is that girl said? <laughs> You know where I'm going, right? That girl said, yo, I gave like three bitches a STD. I'm like, wait, wait. How you do that? She's like, with my strap. I didn't clean it off. I gave all these bitches shit. She's like, the sad part about it is that they all got this disease from me, but I don't got it. My strap, dude. That's what, that's what it, it is. She did it. That's crazy. So they don't sterilize this shit? <clears throat> she didn't clean it the right way. She That's gave a crazy. bunch of bitches. Not the uncurable, but she gave them a bunch of shit. And she doesn't have it, but her. <laughs> <laughs> don't ever use my water to demonstrate 
You, yeah. <laughs> you've done worse. What you mean? What I did worse. I'm sorry. It's not pink, right? The, the, the straps is pink, right? Yeah, I think. Nah, he's different colors. <laughs> you know that. Hey, I got the internet. You know that Diddy house? No, no, no. <laughs> you got some fucking nerve. Baby, you there. Well, we're not, we not, we not doing this. We're not doing this. We're not. Are we always doing this. Pause. I beat all allegations, my nigga. It's chill. Not yet. Wait till I come with some new ones, nigga. Wow. See? You fabricating the truth. All right. So, speaking of Diddy, I got to speak about, for, for TikTok purposes, we're going to say sus. So, I seen something on the internet and it says, you got to be wary of niggas that got too much sus friends. Because what exactly are y'all hanging out and doing? <laughs> so, I got to ask you, mm. Wiz, as a grown adult, yeah. a heterosexual male from the islands, up down, bro. What, what does that mean? How many, how many sus um, friends do you have? <laughs> how many sus friends do you have? All my sus friends are women. <laughs> so, Good answer! I, I don't... I don't, don't even count. So they don't count? They, they do. Well, yeah, all right, they so, count, count. All right, so one... You one, don't count. One... All right, so, all right, so if we being like right, yeah, yeah, 100%, be right? <clears throat> one, I don't ask my niggas their sexuality, right? But <coughs> but you know. But but you could assume <laughs> certain things from certain people. Like if they're... Like the content that they post on social media, if they post in women's shoes or some dumb shit like that or whatever case, you may assume something about that particular person. Yeah, right? one of our friends used to post women's shoes. Yeah, and we used to butt him, and he beat, he beat Batamonery. Yeah, he beat the allegations. <laughs> he beat the allegations. He's in a happy relationship. So he... Yes, and I'm the single. That, one. Is that his lavender? And, and I'm the <laughs> what's the lavender? What is that? When you have like a beard, like like you know a, a beard, like 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 Link says a, la- a lavender marriage where you where you you have someone as the front to your Batamonery. Oh nah. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know my I don't know my friends' sexuality preferences or That's crazy. whatever, but I would assume that everybody's straight. So all you you believe that all your male friends are straight? Yeah, I think so. None of them came out to me be like, "Yo, I like dick." Like like, like, like Tyler Crater and that nigga. Oh, Gerard Carmichael. Yeah, that's just wild. <laughs> and they did that on camera what too. What did nigga say? Yeah, I like you. <laughs> he said, "You stupid bitch." That shit was funny as fuck, but. Yeah, nobody, like, came out to me like, yo, Wiz, like, I like dick and ass. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, they wouldn't, they wouldn't, hopefully they don't do that. They wouldn't tell me that. I, I don't, don't want to know that. I don't that. like bagels. I like donut sticks. But I'm just saying, <laughs> I don't, I don't think there's nothing wrong with hanging out with the individual that does that or I, whatever. Like, we're not going to be going, like, to the bar like, together. So, or what, so it's not going to be like a homophobia date. will not allow you to hang out with one no, Play it from the other team. No, I'm yourself. saying I, I went. I went to the bar with my niggas. <laughs> yeah. But this is me not knowing or even caring about their sexuality. Okay. You see what I'm saying? But if you like blade, if you wearing heels and shit, like more than likely I'm not gonna be out out and about with you. Niggas wearing heels is fucking crazy. But That's like flamboyant. If you, if I don't know, <clears throat> if I don't know, like it don't hurt you, me. Ex- exactly. If, yeah. If I don't know, like what you doing or whatever the case, and if it doesn't affect me, mm-hmm. like you know. My morals or image wise, or whatever, like yeah, I don't, I don't give a fuck what you're doing. To be, to keep it honest, in our friend group for the most part, it's really difficult for just two niggas to go hang out together because we be like, yo, to fight Bati Monterey, we need a third person because one on one, even with straight niggas, it's like we don't want to do this. Yeah, because we were like, yo, it's a date. Like the only time I, even my, I don't think I link my male cousin alone. <laughs> like it's like, yo, mm-hmm. bring, bring somebody, bring your kid or something because we can't, mm-hmm. like. In this day and time, we are the minority. The only time, the only time I do, sometimes I do go out with one of my male friends, and that's because like he may potentially be going through something. Okay, or yeah, the case see, is. I see. It it takes extreme <laughs> mental <laughs> mental health security for us to be like, you know what? Fuck the allegations. I'm here for you, bro. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. And more than likely, the niggas I'm with, right? They don't give off the appearance they, that they, they... They look like they carry their gun with them, not they, they handbag. <laughs> right. I get it. And if you carry a handbag, it's cool. And everybody knows my type, and they know that those aren't my type. <laughs> Yo, where's I did? You, you took too long to, to get that out. I was a little afraid just now. All what right. you mean? And everybody knows my type. And he said, oh, yeah, you got it. Come on, you know. Respectfully. Yeah, yeah. All right, it makes sense. So, 
You have no... So how much sus woman friend do you have? Uh, Off the top, I would say three, about three, four. I'm probably about the same that I know of. I have, like, I'm in fashion, so I know guys that is... Uh, but it's not like we hang out mm -hmm. ever. So it's like, whatever. The only problem that I have with... I don't have a problem with their lifestyle. The only problem that I have is that we're com we sometimes compete for the same woman. Or whatever, <laughs> and it's like... Nah, I ain't gonna lie. Women... The, 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 and male, the male figure in the woman-on-woman -woman action mm -hmm. is the best wingman you can have. The best wingman you can have. The, oh, the, the tomboy. I the, say the, the D word, but I didn't want to say it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, well, yeah, we'll say it. The, 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 the Britney Grinder of the relationship, mm -hmm. the best wingman you can have. So but you about hang out with I do. I love hanging out with Mo. But we could, we could, oh. yeah, I hang out with Mo. But Look, we Mo laughed. <laughs> but me, but from what love I love you, Mo. From what I see, me and her can't possibly hang out because we're gonna be predominantly going after the same woman, and more than likely, Mo got more riz than me, and she's gonna. But get she has it. so much riz, she could just bless you, like yo, I right, yo, talk to my man. No, I don't want a nah, no, Mo. no, I'm no. Not, I'm, I'm the, not the, the man in me is not gonna allow Mo to give me a girl. I'm no, gonna... because she's one of she's a girl, so I'm not gonna allow you Barely. to she can give you gout. But that's because you're the girl in relationship. That's different though. Okay, exactly, or but whatever. The thing about it, I ain't gonna lie, I rarely ever ask niggas to help me. The last person that ever helped me in a girl relationship, girl situation, was Mo. I swear, I'm not gonna lie. I'm like, yo, Mo. I seen her post, shorty. I said, Mo, go for that, go for ya, go for ya, go for ya. And That's then, it. and then you know what happened? Mo fucked her behind your back. Hey, yo, that sounds <laughs> wild. <Whoa. laughs> Not, you know what I mean. It sounds, Mo no, fucked dude. her behind my, Mo. That sucked. Can we call her by her real name? Moni. <laughs> yeah, because it's, as yo, Mo. I want to ask Mo a question. Why every, why every girl <laughs> that play on the other team, they, they got these little nigga names, like, Mo Money, like, why you can't just be an outstanding individual? Why you couldn't be Maurice? Like, why, you, why you can't be Claudine? Like, <laughs> but anyway, um, no. Listen, listen. Let me tell you right now. You gotta end up. You gotta end up trusting your your friends. Mm -hmm. I know that Mo, for the most part, she will tell me like, "That's my body. You gotta leave that alone." Mm -hmm. And then I'm leaving alone. That's what I'm saying. She's not fair, bro. She do got more ribs, but I mean, no, no, yeah, and she got more waves than me too. That's another <laughs> problem that I don't like. You and Mo close friends. No. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, you know what? She probably got Mo, more bitches in her close friends. That's Mo, why I'm going to just leave it alone. Shout out to you, Mo, because I don't know who's on this pod, but Mo, yeah. If, if, if there's an MVP of this shit, Mo definitely got it. I'm going to leave it at that. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> What else do we need to get into? Um, Is there anything specifically that has you in your feelings at the moment, Wes? Um, don't say that. Glorilla okay. got arrested for DUI in Georgia. All right, so so that got me in my feelings because right, I'm worried about her safety and well being. So let me. Let, I want to ask y'all something. One, Wiz said this, and I don't really understand. Wiz says Glorilla got way too much fucking money to be driving a car. Do y'all agree with that? I mean, I don't know how much money she has, but I would assume she's a damn near a superstar. If there's A, B, C, she's probably at probably tier C or B right now. Mm -hmm. So I would she, assume that she has money. So she's to only be twenty-four years old. You don't think she wants to drive her a fancy car that she finally made the money to pay for? But you're not gonna do it while you're drunk, though. She's a young, twenty-four-year-old turn-up bitch from Memphis. Also, if I'm, if <laughs> yeah, go. If I'm, if I'm, uh, Yo Gotti, who she signed to, and Yo Gotti probably gave her the liquor. I'm basically giving her a chaperone. She's gonna have a chaperone. She's not gonna be able to do dumb shit like that. You think they really can win? Who chaperones Meek? Diddy. <laughs> Diddy chaperones Meek. All right, you know what? I'm going to leave that alone. I'm going to leave that alone. If you, if you was up a, a substantial amount like Glorilla, you would drive yourself? I would have to be able to drive my dream car at least when, uh, uh, you know, periodically. But I would want to drive. I agree. I'd want a super duper suburban. Yeah, I would drive to. Target or like wherever I don't know where rich people shop at for their toiletries. Yeah. But 
yeah, I would drive there, but she went out. This is late at night. Oh, I'm gonna have a driver, bro. She, she clearly went she to the club the or a restaurant or some shit. I'm having a drive. Well, yeah, I guess she was looking for the hoes. Nah, all right, let me tell you. What would you be? What, what, what would entice you more? Glow jumping out the back seat of the suburban or glow pulling up on a Lambo in front of you? You love. I'm you. fucking either way. It don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are we talking about? I ain't gonna lie. Glow look a little bit better. I, I give you that. Exactly. A little, a little, a little straightening. Yeah. Then she got her teeth done. Yeah, got she... her breasts done. Oh, I, I, right. I, uh, really? Yeah. Okay. Well, glow glowing up. Shout out to her, but not my cup of tea. Um, what has me in my feelings? Absolutely nothing. I'm great. Everything's been amazing. I'm in the best of moods. Everything is great on my planet, and I'm fine. I thought we was going to tell the truth today. We are telling the truth, Wiz. I am great. I had never been better, and I love everyone. How you feel about the Marvel Universe? <laughs> and with that, guys, I will see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs>